Hello, thank you for joining me today. I'm Amanda Fowler of InspireAndInking.com and in today's video I'm going to take you on a walk through my craft room that's recently been finished. Um, I love to see how people store their craft stuff um, so I hope you'll enjoy this video too. Just to explain, I'm actually stood at the far end of the room. Um, this was our lounge diner. Um, a couple of years ago, we had an extension built on the other side of the house. And this then became my permanent office stroke craft room. Obviously, I don't get the whole lounge diner. Um, you'll be able to see there's a, a sofa here. Um, this uh, other part of the room is mainly used by my kids uh, with their friends uh, there are games consoles tv and that kind of stuff in here as well um, and just so you can see um, many of you will, will know I have a little border terrier called Kiva well and uh, there she is she moves around in the sunshine um, just to find the the best spot so welcome to my craft room from Kiva and I so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk into the, the craft room, um, but see if I can give you kind of a, a distance shot of this wall. Because once I get close up, you won't be able to see very well. So I've got um, kitchen cupboards, basically, is what they are. They're called Highton from Ikea. And I'll be putting links on my blog to the, the, the products that I've sort of used so I've got uh, two drawer units and um, a floor cupboard worktop and then shelves and two cupboards at the top there. Um, then I've got a, a trolley and some boxes and things. And then on the other side, I've got two wall cupboards. There's a radiator there and a chest of drawers. And then this is actually my desk, um, which we'll sort of come to in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to start top left. Um, so there's a, a there's a cupboard here now. This cupboard has got envelopes and stuff in it. Um, a lot of the cupboards have got stuff in that you really don't need to see because it's it's not interesting crafty stuff. Um, so up there is my uh, current project life album that I'm working on. Uh, some coffee, very important to have spare coffee and some display things and also uh, my sound system there that I use for classes. Coming down onto the next shelf, you've got all of my marker pens. And let's move this over here. My blend abilities and spare markers. Um, you might have seen a video of this little Christmas pudding and this Rudolph. Um, if not, check out my YouTube channel and you'll be able to see the videos for those there. These here are all uh, wood mount cases. So this is the full size wood mount case and these are the half size. Um, these are fab for storing all sorts of things. You'll see all over my room that there are uh, things stored. But this is the Moonlight DSP stack which is a little over six by four inches and it fits perfectly. I've got things like my dazzling details, washi tape, glue dots, rhinestones, dimensionals, tag a bag kit, and then one of my two texture boutiques. Then this is another cupboard that's got stuff in it. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a hanging rail and this has got little buckets in uh, with foam folders and pokey tools and spritzers and aqua painters and scissors and new Stampin' Up stapler and ribbon scissors. Um, don't be alarmed by the number of scissors and things I have. I do lots of classes and parties and I have a big team. So when I run trainings and things, I need lots and lots of stuff. Uh, moving down here, there's um, a light. And then if you've ever spoken to me on the phone, this is what you will have been speaking to me on. Um, this is a little headset. Um, means I'm, I'm hands-free. So when I'm taking your orders or um, talking about projects and things, I've actually got hands-free so I can write notes. This is um, 
my tonic guillotine it's a 12 by 12 foot bed it is the only non stamping up item i think in my craft room um, that I actually use for crafting. I wouldn't be without it. I absolutely adore it. Um, and it was a very sad day when Stampin' Up! stopped doing the guillotine. But there we go, so that's that one. Um, that's one of my scoreboards. Moving along, ah, ribbon, okay. On a lot of craft blogs, uh, people use a, a frame well it's like a shelf that you put picture frames on to store their ribbon and I showed Brian uh, my husband if, if you don't know Brian is a bit of a whiz with building stuff he's an engineer but he's really really good at building things out of wood and metal um, so I sort of said to him can you do anything so what he did was he took some off cuts of the cupboards and he made me this and it's really, really cool. Um, it obviously fits. Um, you like my little decoration? You'll see little dragonflies everywhere. Um, and all of my ribbons are just loose in there because basically what I didn't want was to have to take them off a rack and, and faff with them all the time. Um, one of the, the really cool things that I do with my ribbon, I'm hoping, let's just see if you can, you can see that. Oh, it's a bit out of focus. Um, hopefully you can see that. That's a little piece of washi tape there. And that's actually keeping the open edge shut. Um, and it just means then that they don't unravel. So coming along, this this is um, a, an Ikea worktop. It's sort of a pale turquoise colour. Really lovely. Um, this is a photo frame. It's not actually gone anywhere yet. I haven't decided where it's going to go. I've got one of my little dragonfly clips on there. Um, this is actually one of the items that I bought recently from Wayfair. And if you are watching this video between the 31st of October 2014 and the 5th of November, midday on the 5th of November 2014, and you are living in the UK, you can enter a prize draw, pop onto my blog www.inspiringinking.com and you'll have the chance of winning £150 worth of Wayfair goodies um, and also stamp sets from me as well. So make sure you pop over there. Also look for me on Facebook as well, Inspiring Inkin on Facebook. And I've got another giveaway running there as well, but that finishes on Monday the 3rd of November. So be quick. Okay, then I have my colour caddy. Now, um, let's see. Um, all of the colour families there, and then the in colours at the top. And then in the top, this is just little bits of washi tape and things that I use for sticking my ribbons together. Don't worry, that isn't all of my ink pads. Okay, so down to the drawers. Um, this drawer is the drawer without a purpose currently. It's got little bits of cut pieces of cardstock and things in. I really haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that. Then this has all my cello bags. Um, I use cello bags all the time for my classes. So I needed a drawer for those third drawer down oh I love this drawer okay so here we have cut card blanks so they're cut and scored and ready to go envelopes um, pre-stamped birthday cards just for you congratulations cards thank you cards clear envelopes stamped envelopes so I just take one of those out just so you can you can see again these are wood oh upside down wood mounted cases and it's got cards ready to go. I send birthday cards to all of my customers so um, you need to to get a birthday card from me you need to sign up on my website for my mailing list and then there'll be details there of how to uh, give me your details so I can send you a birthday card and maybe a little surprise in there too. Okay, so I've got a couple of glass jars um, waiting to be filled. These are the note card sizes. 
Stampin' Up do these in uh, Whisper White, but also I have some pre-cut already that are a different colour. And then these are my layers. So these are uh, standard layers. So let me just show you. So these are standard layers. And then this, this one there is the next layer down. Da, da, da. Okay, so they're cut ready. Um, so it just, just saves lots of time looking things. Okay, bottom drawer. Oh, okay, so clear um, acrylic blocks, sponges, glue guns, cool melt to stop me burning myself and hot melt glue guns my brayers and my glue and my battery charger for my glues and um, this is kind of my distressy corner um and actually i am very distressed this is my my um spritzing tool that stamping up's discontinued um i am hoping against hope that it will come back so um if you think it should come back please lobby stamping up so we can get it back but also there's um sandpaper and various other sort of distressy type things. And whilst we're looking um, down here, I'll just show you the floor. Um, <laughs> I love my floor. It's actually a product called Cardine and it is an industrial laminate. So you'll find, um, you can just Google it, but it's got a 15 year guarantee and it's so easy to clean. And uh, next two cupboards, this top drawer here has got all my financy stuff in it, my bank details and my money tin and that kind of stuff and the bottom drawers just got rubbish in it so we won't go in there um right okay you ready for this ink pads I told you that that wasn't all my ink pads <laughs> they're only stacked too high or three high in places um I I have a lot of ink pads, I do, but my excuse is I do a lot of classes and sometimes you need more than one ink pad um, of a particular colour. Then here are my reinkers. Now it was only when I redid my room that I actually realised how many reinkers I've got, so I am a little embarrassed by the quantity of reinkers I have, but the benefit is my ink pads will always be inked. Um, then I've got my speciality inks and blender pens, bone folders that I use for re-inking and um, gel pens. Moving down, my drawer of punches. So these are all the, the new style punches. I say new style, we've had this, it must be two years now. But these are some of the old style punches and these ones, so this scallop circle and um, this one and this one these I bought when I very first started and that was 2007 so seven years those punches have been going uh, crocodile lots of other little punches you'll see I've got duplicates like these and petite petals there and I've got duplicates of the butterflies and things but mo mainly I've only got one of each and then this is my other drawer so here are my spare glues these are my open glues oh look there's no pot there um, I need another trip to Ikea um, so I'm um, to get some more of these tubs and these tubs are fabulous I'll put a link to those in uh, the blog post as well but I do have a bit of a crisis look pearls 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 and this tub here will have pearls and uh, and uh, rhinestones in but there are no rhinestones um which is a bit of a disaster so <laughs> i've got an order going in today which will sort that out this is all my sort of cut pieces of ribbon so that's that's kind of not on a roll so there's all sorts of different bits in here and there there's my baker's twine and linen thread and and so on okay so that's kind of that section what I'm going to do now is show you this corner in the left hand side and then work along my boxes so what I'm going to do first is pull out the trolley and I'll show you the trolley now okay so here's the the trolley 
So at the top I've got my Big Shot magnetic platform and my multi-purpose platform and the cutting plates. And then moving down, these are the Big Shot storage boxes that Stampin' Up! sell. And I've got my embossing folders, my big styes. These are the framelets that are sort of larger in size. So they're things like the Herbie Keepsake box and various other things. And then these are my normal, all the other framelets. And then down, 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 down at the bottom, um, I've got the other big dies that are sort of much bigger. Wax paper, um, you'll have seen me use this on the videos. It's really important for the sort of framelets and more cutting plates. Okay, so whilst we're in this corner, obviously that's where my uh, guillotine and things are. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here on the left you've got grid paper and my um, wheelie trolley that I use to transport all my boxes. Then at the back you have got my case and that's what I use for the parties. And then that's my catalogue bag just there. Okay, I've got the trolley back. Whilst I'm doing that, just have a look. This is my back garden. Um, pear tree, trampoline, veg patch, and um, greenhouse just there. It's all looking a bit sad because it's it's autumn currently. Okay, now I'm going to sort of step back. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to see. Currently there are 15 boxes here. Quite often they're stacked another two high. Um, <laughs> but these are... Uh, I can only refer to them as the boxes that keep my world in order. What I actually do is all of these boxes are uh, things that I'm either working on or things that I need. So here you've got class essentials. So in there are my rubbish bins and my extra paper trimmers and scrub and various things I need for classes. Tea and coffee are really important for classes. Down there are boxes for videos, I've got samples, um, I'll come back to that uh, box in a minute, my raffle stuff, my card club, more samples. Um, so if I kind of show you in the side, because this is actually how I prep for my classes and I know a lot of people kind of wonder how, how I do things, so here you go. So I have, let me grab it. I have these baskets, oh, and I have a lot of these baskets, and in each basket are the projects, or, or the items you need for a particular project. So in this case it's card, so there are card blanks, the stamp setters there, the ink pads, a re-inker to go with the ink pad, um, if there's punches, uh, if there are things that need punching then there'll be scraps of paper as well. And so that means that when I'm designing and prepping for a class, everything that I need goes in the box. And it also means then that I don't sort of duplicate things. When I first started, sometimes I would prep for a class and I'd use the same punch on two projects on two different tables and it, it just got confusing. So it it's a system that really, really works for me. Um, and if you if you want to know more, do send me a message, and I'll I'll do another video on on that. Um, so let me let me walk along here, and move my chair out of the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the eagle-eyed amongst you will will have seen that. Ha! <laughs> um, this is my equivalent of the understairs cupboard in my craft room, or the cupboard that you stuff everything in when somebody's coming to stay. Um, my craft room looks beautiful today, it's really tidy, but that's only because of this box. Because there's lots of stuff in there that I was working on and things and I've just kind of hidden it in there. Um, just so, so you know as well, what I do with these, with the boxes, is I use, there we go, I use a dry marker. And on each box, I can just rub it off. So I can, I just write on each box and then I just um, can put the new thing on. 
so let's just sort that out otherwise I'll be confused later okay so that is there all right so we're in the right hand corner again what I'll do I'm just moving my chair out of the way what I'll do is kind of step back a bit so you can you can see I don't think I can get any further than that so um, I'll show you what's in those cupboards in a minute there on the left hand side is a drawer set of drawers that's got all my team stuff in it so that's got uh, my team badges and all sorts of things like that that blue box down there on the floor is all my customer orders waiting for collection on top of the chest of drawers there's my diary and my daily planner catalogues and kind of in tray then in here, I've got all of my admin -y stuff. So things I'm working on, birthday cards, reports, that kind of stuff. Then on these three shelves, so the top shelves has got all my Project Life stuff, my photos and things that I'm working on, my Canon selfie printer in its travel case, and three stamp sets in the old cases or well, one of them lovely as a tree look oh i hope you can see that lovely as a tree is the only stamp set that is still in the catalog went from when i started in 2007 and then coming along here these are all my stamps one row two rows and i promise really these are all my stamps i don't have huge numbers of stamps actually it's probably quite a lot of stamps really but compared to what's in the catalogue I, I don't have huge numbers um, I do have a few stamp sets in duplicate so there's the for you stamp set sassy sassy salutations I've got a couple of those and petite pairs I've got a couple of those as well but all the rest I've just got single stamp sets um, I've got some some sample cards and various other things then in these jars this is where I keep all my accessories so they're the little wooden elements uh, I've got brads there plain pegs vintage and fasted buttons 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 little penguin there's a video for him on my youtube channel as well his wing needs to flip and needs to come up a bit okay some more christmas cards ah lovely jar of jam from Carolyn that I'm waiting to to eat okay and then over this side this cupboard has got my paper so this has got all my 12 by 12 paper so I've got DSP stacks in color I've got designer series paper and then I've actually got old DSP that I use when I'm designing things um then I've got neutrals and then all the speciality brights and subtles and all the speciality paper so the gold and silver and the glim glimmer and craft now that is all of the 12 by 12 card and paper that I have um again you don't need huge huge quantities things come through quite quickly from stamping up um these are my kind of day-to-day -day stuff finances and hostess coaching and work in progress a bit of greenery there then this is my filing cabinet now I need to tell you that I do have some more cardstock than what's in this filing cabinet most of the colors of cardstock I have a an additional pack of card um, but these are all my open packs so I'll just open the drawer just to show you so these are all the bright and then the subtles um, so you can see it's it's got sort of an open there you go an open pack and sort of cut pieces and things and then at the bottom is is the neutrals um, whilst we're down there you can see the there's the bottom of my desk my bin and my foot pad because my legs are too short for the chair then coming up okay so this I'll put a link to this um, it's called a Boone stash pot it's actually designed for babies I think 
um, but I absolutely love it because it's it's really quite funky with its bubbles. Um, important nail varnish and things, hand cream, uh, stapler, oh, um, glue eraser, really important. You may have heard me uh, say on my blog that I've actually got a personalised stamp from Stamping Up at convention. So this is that one. And my other pens, Tombow, trusty Tombow. This was this storage was was made by Brian. Um, can't be without my without my out my Tombow. Um, this is uh, is my light. It's actually a daylight light, which is really cool, and I can kind of move it wherever I need to be working. And a scrub. And obviously a mat to put my coffee on and grid paper. Can't work without grid paper underneath me. Um, so you can see actually this desk is huge. It means I can make a lot of mess, which is very cool. And then finally, at the end of my desk, there's this unit here, which is called a Calyx. And it's got these amazing glossy turquoise doors. So far, I've only used two of the cupboards. Um, but I've still got some more stuff to put away. So in here is all my heat embossing and uh, glitters and piercing mats and things like that. And then in this one is my other scoreboard, my gift box boards and my envelope boards. Okay, so that is my craft room. I hope you have enjoyed the tour with me. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to turn around. So this is the view that I look out on uh, when I'm sat at my desk and it's pretty cool because I overlook the driveway. So it does mean when the UPS man is delivering my Stampin' Up! goodies, I can usually get to the door before he even rings the doorbell. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour of my craft room today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like any more information about any of the products that I've used in the craft room um, or anything else, then do leave me a message at the bottom of the YouTube video or on my website, www.inspiringinking.com. I do love to hear from you and I respond to each and every one. So have a good day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.